Praise the name of the Lord. I want to uh, bless the name of the Lord for your life. For as many of us that are joined and connected to this line, praise the name of the Lord. I pray that the Lord will touch every one of us in Jesus' name. As many of you that are connected to me, I want you to begin to bless the name of the Lord for what the Lord will do tonight in our midst. Father, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your love over our lives. We bless your name. We give you praise. We thank you for what you will do and what you have started to do already. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your grace. We we'll lift your name on high. We say there is none like you. Father, we thank you for, Almighty, for your loving kindness. We thank you for your power and your protection over everyone connected. We'll lift your name on high. You are worthy to be praised and adored. There is none like you. Blessed be thy name, Father Lord. Lord, we worship your name. King of glory, we exalt you. Ancient of days, we adore you. I am that I am, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. Let's begin to thank the Lord God Almighty who is worthy to be praised. Let's thank the Lord God Almighty for his love upon our lives. Father, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your love over everyone connected to this prayer line. We thank you for what you are doing right now. We thank you for what you will do. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We give you praise. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your enablement. We thank you for your strength over our lives. Daddy, accept all our thanks in the name of Jesus. We thank you because you are a God that does not sleep nor slumber. You are a prayer answering God. You are the God of all flesh. Father, we bless your name. Jehovah, we give you praise. Ancient of days, we say you are worthy. You are wonderful. You are the unchangeable Lord. Glory be unto you, Father Lord. Hallowed be thy name, King of glory. We bless you. We worship you. We exalt you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Right there where you are, I want you to open your mouth and speak to your life loud and clear. Say, my father, let your miracles locate my destiny. In the name of Jesus, my father, let your miracle hands locate my destiny. In the name of Jesus, my father, let your miracle locate my destiny. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, my Father, let your miracle power, let your miracle hands uh, locate me now. Locate my destiny. Locate me now. In the name of Jesus, uh, my Father, let your miracles uh, locate my life. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Everybody open your mouth loud and clear. Every serpent of darkness uh, assigned against my prayer life. Uh, Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every serpent of darkness assigned against my prayer life, I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Serpent of darkness assigned against my prayer life, catch fire in the name of Jesus. I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus. To catch fire, to catch fire, to catch fire, to catch fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It is written that. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The Bible says, I will say of the Lord, uh, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Uh, surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. Uh, he shall Almighty cover me with His feathers uh, and under His wing shall I trust. Uh, his truth shall be my shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, uh, nor for the arrow that fled by day. You will cry loud and clear. Say, every power assigned to trouble my life at midnight be destroyed in the name of Jesus every power assigned to trouble my life at midnight in the hours of the night be destroyed by fire be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed by fire be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed now by the fire of God in the name of Jesus say every power that is waging war against my destiny every power waging war against my destiny be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus every power waging war 
Would you walk against my destiny? Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. I command you to be destroyed. Every power waging war against my destiny be destroyed by the fire of the living God. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. You will cry loud and clear. The Bible says, A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Psalm 91, verse 7. You will cry loud with fire. Say, Every arrow fired into my life, go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, every arrow fired into my life, go back to sender. Go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, every evil arrow, satanic arrow, occultic arrow, fired into my life, I command you to go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, go back to sender. Go back to sender. Go back to sender. Go back to sender. I command you to go back to sender. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You will now cry with fire and with thunder. The Bible says, Only with thy eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. You see, every wicked power assigned against my life fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every wicked power assigned against my life, I command it to fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, fall down and die. Wicked powers on assignment against my life, I command it to fall down and die. To fall down and die. To fall, to die, to fall, to die. In the name of Jesus, wicked powers assigned against my life, I command it to fall down to the ground and die. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. The Bible says, Therefore, shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near their dwelling. You will shout this loud and clear. Say, every evil agenda against my family scatter in the name of Jesus. Evil agenda against my family, I command you to scatter, 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 scatter. In the name of Jesus, I command you to scatter by fire, scatter by fire. Evil agenda against my life, against my family, scatter by fire to scatter to scatter to scatter by fire scatter scatter in jesus mighty name we pray amen you will sing this on the ladder here holy ghost arise in your power holy ghost arise in your power ready to deliver ready to save ready to deliver ready to set me free holy ghost arise oh in your power holy ghost arise in your power holy ghost arise in your power ready to deliver ready to save ready to deliver ready to set me free holy ghost arise oh in your power 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 Amen. Right there where you are, I want to release the anointing of today's prayer. I want to release some prayer into your life. Father, I ask in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above all names, let the Holy Ghost arise and begin to deliver as many that are connected to me, wherever they are connected from, as many that are listening to me, wherever they are listening from, let the Holy Ghost fire fight your battles. Let the Holy Ghost fight for you. Let the Holy Ghost fight for you. Let the Holy Ghost fire fight your battles. Fight your battles. Wherever you are watching from, wherever you are listening from, I say let the Holy Ghost fire fight for you. Fight your battles. Fight now. Holy Ghost, fight. Holy Ghost, arise, deliver. Holy Ghost, arise, deliver. Holy Ghost, Arise, deliver your children, deliver them by fire in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost arise and deliver everyone connected to me, wherever you are, everyone that is listening. Holy Ghost, fire, arise, deliver, arise, deliver, arise, fight for them, arise, deliver in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. And I decree loud and clear, you will cry to the Almighty God. You will shout with fire. You will shout with enough is enough. See, every chain of darkness holding down my destiny break by fire. In the name of Jesus, every chain of darkness holding down my destiny break by fire. 
break by fire in the name of Jesus. Every chain of darkness holding down my destiny, break by fire, break by fire, break by fire, break, break, break by fire in the name of Jesus. The chains of darkness holding down my destiny, I command you to break now, to break by fire, to break by fire, to break. To break by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You will say every arrow of the night fired into my destiny. Go back to sender. Arrows of the night fired into my destiny. Go back to sender. 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 Go back to your sender. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, I cover everyone connected to me with the blood of Jesus. I release the anointing power of God into your life. I ask that the blood of Jesus will prevail. The fire of God will surround you. The anointing power of God will baptize you. The glory of God will overshadow you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you, your family, your property, your environment with the blood of Jesus. I ask that the fire of God and the blood of Jesus will surround you. In the name of Jesus, my Father, I thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you all for joining the prayer line. I want to welcome you, as many of you have connected, wherever you are connected from. I want to welcome you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. You are welcome to the prayer line. And I say, God bless you. For those of you that are connected and watching me, I wanted to go ahead and let's share this video now. Before we go into the message of today, I have an important thing to tell many of us. Let's quickly share this video. Let's go ahead and share the video. For those of you that are watching me from my page, and those of you that are watching from MFM Big Country page, and those of you that are watching on Perry scope go ahead and share the video let's go ahead and share this video yes god bless you i can see some of you sharing the video already yes excellent brilliant thank you jesus let somebody be blessed let someone be blessed let someone be blessed let's go ahead and share the video as many of you that are connected let's go ahead and share the video i want this video to connect to someone and that person that needs the deliverance hand of God. Yes, let's go ahead and share the video now to everyone that needs to almighty see it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go ahead and share the video. Oh, yes. I can see some of you sharing the video already. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Let's go ahead and share the video. Let's go ahead and share it. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. I can see many of us are sharing the video. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Yes, thank you, Ancient of Days. Let's go ahead and share the video. I am trying to do that same thing here. Very good, very good, very good. Let's go ahead, let somebody see it. Somebody needs to see the video. They need to connect and get themselves delivered. We want the hand of God to touch as many as possible. Very good. I can see some of you sharing it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. We thank God for that. We thank God for that. Excellent. I can see many of you sharing it there. Excellent. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. I know the Lord God Almighty is going to do great things tonight in your life and in the life of everyone that is even listening to me, wherever you are. The mighty hand of God will bless you and will touch your destinies in the name of Jesus. Yes, let's go ahead and share the video. Let's go ahead and share it. Let's go ahead and share it. Yes, the Lord God Almighty, the power of God is here and is moving and doing wonders. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I welcome you all that are just connected, all of you that are just coming in again. I welcome you one more time and I say, the Lord God Almighty will touch you. He will be your guide. He will be with you in the name of Jesus. God bless us all. This day, I'm going to be talking to us. And I'm going to tag it out to destroy. I call it to destroy spirit husband and spirit wife. Spirit husband and spirit wife. Listen attentively. I'm just going to talk talk to you. I will just try to give you an introduction to what I want to talk about. Spirit husband and spirit wife. Yes, God bless you for those of you that are just joining. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. The Lord God Almighty will be with us all today in Jesus' name. I'm going to share an insight into this topic. It's a big topic. If we cannot finish it today, we'll finish it next time in the name of Jesus. 
then we will go into our prayers. Uh, listen to me very well. How to destroy spirit husband and spirit wife. Uh, spirit husband and spirit wife. Uh. Now, many people may not understand what I'm talking about. Uh. Many people just wonder, what is this man talking about? Spirit husband, uh, spirit wife. What does he mean? What does this mean? What does he mean? Listen to me and listen to me very well. There are quite a number of Christians. Uh, they are suffering from the powers of the spirit husband and the spirit wife. The spirit husband and spirit wife has been harassing a lot of Christians even while they are married. He has been harassing them even while they were single. He has been harassing them even on their own matrimonial bed. It has been harassing them even when they are with their husband, their wives. Listen to me carefully. Spirit husband, spirit wife. Many people call them. They, 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 they assume that this is normal. Spirit husband and spirit wife. Listen and listen carefully. When you are in your sleep, in your dream, and you are dreaming of having sex or sexual intercourse, and you are having sex with either a person whom you recognize or whom you do not recognize, then there is an activity of spirit husband working up. There is an activity of spirit husband working up. When you see yourself kissing, holding hands, out, someone is either arousing you sexually in your dreams. There is an activity of spirit husband, spirit wife already at work. There is an activity of spirit husband, spirit wife already at work. Listen to me and listen to me very well. I'm not going to be able to complete this today, but I'm going to teach, give you some introduction so that by the time we continue our prayers, and we will get to understand very well. Listen and listen very well. The Bible says, uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. It says, And the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him what? Help mate for him. God knew that it was not good for man to be alone. He made man Eve. He made for man Eve. So God knew that it was not good for man to be alone. Now listen to very carefully. Everyone that is suffering or that has been aroused by spirit husband or spirit wife, beloved, I want you to understand clearly that it is not ordained of God. You are not supposed to be married in your dream. You are supposed to be married physically. Otherwise, God will have given Adam Eve in the dream, but God brought Adam, brought Eve physically to Adam. He saw that Adam, man, should not be alone. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him an help mate for him. And he made Eve, and Eve was made because he was alone. So it is not good for a woman or a man to be alone. And that's why God said, yes, it will make an helpmate. That's why God said, physically, physically, you should be together. Not marrying in the spirit. Not marrying in your dream. Not marrying in your imagination. Not marrying where you are sleeping or where you are dozing off. Not marrying when uh, you are not aware. You must be aware. You must be aware. Jesus, the Lord God Almighty had said this from the beginning. Genesis 2 verse 18. And I pray that the Lord will touch and give you understanding in Jesus' name. Now the second Bible verse I'm going to be talking to you about is in Genesis chapter 6 verse 4. Genesis 6 verse 4. The Bible says there, was, there were giants in the hurt. There were giants in the hurt in those days. Genesis chapter 6 verse 4. There were giants in the hurt in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. I pray that as I'm speaking to you today, the word of God, the entrance of that word will bring light in the name of Jesus. Now, in those days, there were sons of God. The sons of God... In the Bible, you will discover that they are mostly classified as the fallen angels. 
the fallen angels. And you will understand with me that the Bible told us at a particular time. Let me, oh, go to, let me go into it. The Bible told us in Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 9. Revelation 12, 7 to 9. Revelation 12, 7 to 9. He says, And there was war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. Fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. So Michael fought with his angel. They fought against the dragon. Then the dragon also fought with his own angels and prevailed not. The Bible tells us that the dragon had his own angels and it did not prevail. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Verse 9 says, and the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels cast out with him. What am I getting to? I'm trying to get to somewhere. The angels that were cast out with the devil from heaven, when there was war, where Michael fought, where are they? They are with us here, according to Revelation chapter 12 verse 9. And where are they? They are busy doing a lot of havoc in the life of men and women. They are busy doing a lot of havoc in the life of men and women. I pray that any havoc that has been done in your life shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Now listen to me very well. Very well. Spirit husband, spirit wife is not of God. Is not of God. If you think that well, you should be, you should have spirit husband, you should have spirit wife. You are just, you are, you are, you are only thinking, you are, you are only having a, a, a negative imagination. It is not of God. They are the activities of the fallen angels. Remember, those angels had power also. Remember, those angels were with, were also in heaven before, before they collided with the dragon, which is the devil, Satan. That's what Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 9, I classified it as. They were the same. And so what happened was that the Michael fought and cast them out, pushed them onto the head. And so they are with us here. They are doing different activities. They are going through different activities. They are act acting in different ways. I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord will surely fight for you in the name of Jesus. So spirit husband, spirit wife is not, is not for you to condole. It's not for you to accept. It's not for you to say, well, that is the way our culture is. No. The Bible says already, Genesis 2 verse 18. Genesis 2 verse 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone and the lord god said it is not good that man should be alone i will make him an help mate for him and so god made eve so what am i trying to say your wife your husband should be physical not spirit your wife your husband should be in the physical not in the spirit your husband your wife should be in the physical not in the spirit and I pray that the hand of the Lord will touch you all in the name of Jesus. Now, what is happening? What is happening? Spirit husband, spirit wife has their foundation in several things. They have their foundation in several things. In some families, you must the firstborn will be married to the spirit husband of the family or the spirit wife of the family. In some families, if they are also from a home where they commit immorality. Spirit husband, spirit wife, they what? They prevail. Where you see what I call the right of protection. Right of protection. In some families, they do what I call right of protection. Spirit husband, spirit wife, maybe they're, they're trying to protect the child. child protect the child. And so they, they marry the child to the idol. And spirit wife, spirit husband begin to activate itself. In some families, they have what they call cultural dances. Everywhere you have cultural dances, spirit husband, spirit wife, prevail. Everywhere where there is sexual perversion, spirit husband, spirit wife, prevail.
prevail. Beloved, we may not be able to talk about all this today. We will try, I will try and complete it again at a better time. But one, one of the things I want to tell you is that there are different types of spirit husbands. There are different types of spirit wives. There are spirit husbands that are spirit wives that are, they actually come physically. Like, like they come physically. But before you understand what is happening, they will have done their havoc and they will have left their victim in disarray. They will have left their victims seated there. They are what are called the wicked spiritual spouses. They are physical spiritual spouses. They are what are called the spiritual prostitutes. They go about in the hour of the night, sleeping with men and women. They are what are called the wandering spirit. The wandering spirit goes anywhere, anytime, at any, any, at any, at any stage at all. They are what are called the wicked and the violent spirit. They move about. They are the familiar spirit husband, the familiar spirit wife. They use familiar faces to attack their victim. Beloved, what I'm talking to you about is so deep and is not spoken about. It is so deep, people don't talk about it. But I want to tell you clearly that spirit husband, spirit wife, ah, they have wrecked the havoc in the life of many Christians. They have destroyed many Christians, their destiny and their glory. They have destroyed their, the lives of many people and they have destroyed many marriages. I pray if there's any activity of spirit wife, spirit husband in your life, I decree let there be a divorce in the name of Jesus. I decree let there be a divorce. 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 Let the fire of God separate you in the name of Jesus we pray. Now, what are the activities of this wicked spirit? The spirit husband and the spirit wife. What are their, their activity? What are their activity? Number one, they give and make what I call satanic or demonic initiation. They initiate their victim. They initiate their victim. What are their activities? They destroy the virtues. Your virtues. Your virtues. They destroy the virtues of men. The virtues of women. They destroy their virtues. Number three, they siphon the power of God in your life. The power of God in your life. They siphon it out. Once they come to your life and they have a contact with you, either in the hour of the night, either when you're having your nap or just sleeping a little bit and they come and have a sexual intercourse with you, they siphon the power of God in your life. What are their activities? They are the ones in charge of when a person is getting late in marriage. Everything called late marriage. Late marriage. Or inability to get married, they are in charge of it. What are the activities? They bring what I call terrible misfortune. Terrible misfortune. What are the activities? They make you to work very hard and be profitless. They make you to work very hard and be profitless. What are the activities? They bring what I call marital confusion. And they bring marital discord, marital confusion, marital discord. Listen, I have a lot to talk about, but I don't think we have enough time to talk about it. I'm going to try to do a part two or a part three as long as we can talk about it and you can have a great of Jesus Christ. When there's always confusion in the marriage, the marriage is From spirit wife in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my father, deliver me, deliver me from spirit wife in the name of Jesus, my father, deliver me, deliver me in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, amen. Now, listen to me carefully and listen very well. If you are a man, of course, you will be crying, spirit wife. If you are a woman, you'll be crying, spirit husband. But now, I have a lot of people have told me, Pastor. I have a female companion. If I mean sisters telling me that sisters telling me I have a female companion, 
coming to meet with me, to meet with me at night, coming to sexually arouse me when I'm sleeping, a female companion, you can imagine. So some women even have what I call a spirit wife themselves. They have spirit husband and spirit wife. They have both. Listen to me carefully. Don't joke with the prayers we're going to be praying tonight. If you pray tonight and you get your testimony, I pray that the Lord God Almighty will begin to set you free in Jesus' name. Listen carefully. Many don't talk about what I'm talking about today, but it's good I talk about it at least as much as I can and give you a, a, some introduction. Because I know that the spirit husband and spirit wife, are, they have done a lot of havoc in the life of children of God. They have destroyed the life of children of God. They have attacked them. They have mesmerized them. They have siphoned their virtues. And I pray that the power of God will begin to fight your battles in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. Let's open our mouth and sing this song loud and clear. As we are singing, as I'm singing the song, I want you to go ahead and begin to share this video one more time. Let's go ahead and share the video one more time. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the blood, in the blood of the Lamb, of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder walking power in the precious blood of the lamb there is power there is power power wonder walking power in the blood in the blood of the lamb of the lamb there is power power wonder walking power in the prayer shows blood of the lamb amen before we go into our prayers, I want to go ahead and share this video again. Let's go ahead and share the video so some of some people can hear it and some people can be delivered. As we are sharing it, remember you are also evangelizing and you are delivering somebody. Somebody needs to be delivered. Go ahead, let's go ahead and share this video because I know that the power of God will begin to bring and make a way for you and for those people that are going to be seeing it in the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go ahead and share the video. I thank God Almighty for your life. Yes, for those of you that are joining right now, that are just joining, let's go ahead and share it. For those of you on Periscope, please go ahead. Share the video. Go ahead and share it. Go ahead and share it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Ancient of Data. Thank you, the I am that I am. Yes, go ahead. Let's go ahead and share this video. I pray that the power of God will begin to make a way for us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Yes, we thank you. You want to open your mouth. You want to pray loud and clear. If you are right now watching me, and your ma you have been facing what I call a marital turbulence. Your marriage has been on fire. It has never been easy. It has never been easy. Or you are watching me right now. You have never, you have never even been married. In fact, people, nobody has ever said hello to you, whether as a man or as a woman. Nobody has said hello to you. Nobody has said hello. You are looking beautiful. Listen, there is. You need to deal with the spirit husband, spirit wife. And if you are hearing me. And as what I've said is affecting you, and you are also having that spirit husband, spirit wife harassing you every night. Listen, you must open your mouth and pray with fire. If you are here listening to me, and in the dream, every time, either once or twice in a week, there is a personality that comes into your dream to have a sexual intercourse with you. Listen, you must pray. You must pray. You must pray. If they are coming to even caress your body in the dream, touching you in a not in, in, in an unusual way, coming to you and or somebody trying to say that they are your husband or they are your wife in the dream or come on, or you are, they are conducting a wedding for you in the dream. Listen, you should wed physically. Forget wedding in the dream. You should wed physically. Physically. Marriage is not for the dreamer. It is not a spirit marriage. It's not a spiritual marriage. You must be married in the dream, in, in the physical, not be not married in the dream. Listen and listen to me very well. I pray that the power of God, the anointing of God, will begin to fight for you in Jesus' name. You will say this loud and clear. Say every demonic marriage, every demonic marriage with spirit wife, I dissolve you now. 
in the name of Jesus. Every demonic manager with spirit wife, I dissolve you. In the name of Jesus, I dissolve you. Demonic marriage with spirit wife, with spirit husband, I dissolve you now. In the name of Jesus, every demonic marriage with spirit husband, with spirit wife, I dissolve you. I dissolve you. I dissolve you. In the name of Jesus, every demonic marriage with spirit husband, with spirit wife, I dissolve you now. I dissolve you. I dissolve you. I dissolve you. I dissolve you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You will cry to the Almighty God in prayers. You will say this loud and clear. Say, every spiritual marriage between me and spirit wife, every spiritual marriage between me and spirit wife, I disconnect it by fire. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual marriage between me and spirit wife, I disconnect by fire. In the name of Jesus, I disconnect by fire. I disconnect it. Every spiritual marriage between me and spirit wife, I disconnect. In the name of Jesus, I disconnect. I disconnect. I disconnect. I disconnect. I disconnect. I disconnect it. In the name of Jesus, spiritual marriage between me and spirit wife, I disconnect you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. As many women that are listening to me, when I'm praying the prayer and I'm saying spirit wife, make sure you are saying spirit husband. If you have been seeing that, if the effect of the spirit husband in you, listen, the spirit husband has nothing good. The thief has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The devil has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He has nothing good for you. Any spirit husband, spirit wife coming to you, either using the face of your husband, or using the face of your wife, or using the face of your past boyfriend, or using the face of a familiar face, what they have come to do is to steal from you. They have not come to do anything good. They have come to steal. They have come to steal. Those spirits can use anybody's face. They can use anybody's face to come to attack you, to come to women just have sexual intercourse with you in the dream. You don't have to be, I mean, your body is the temple of the Most High. You will cry loud and clear and with fire in your voice. Say, every spirit wife, every spirit wife harassing me in my dreams, I cut you off. In the name of Jesus, every spirit wife arousing me in my dream, I cut you off. In the name of Jesus, I cut you off. 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 Open your mouth and cut them off. I cut you off. In the name of Jesus, spirit wife attacking me in my dream, I cut you off. In Jesus' name, I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. In the name of Jesus, I cut you off. I cut you out now. I cut you off. In the name of Jesus, I Cut you off in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, Amen. You will now cry loud and clear with fire in your voice. You will say with this with fire. Say every activity of spirit wife in my life die in the name of Jesus. Every activity of spirit wife in my life I command you to die by fire in the name of Jesus. Activities of spirit wife in my life I command you to die. To die in the name of Jesus, I command you to die in the name of Jesus. I command you to die, 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 to die in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Amen. One of the ways and the things you need to be doing when the spirit husband, the spirit wife has been coming to you all the time, every time before you go to bed, you must anoint yourself. You must anoint yourself. You must have the bottle of anointing oil to anoint yourself. You anoint yourself every time so that the activities of the spirit wife and the spirit husband will cease operating. You must also release the blood of Jesus around your environment. You must ask that the blood of Jesus begin to saturate your house, saturate your bed. You must release the blood of Jesus. You must release the blood of Jesus. You must also hide yourself in the pool of the blood of Jesus. You must ask that the fire of God surround your house, surround your environment, so that the mighty hand of God continue to be with you. You are not supposed to allow the spirit husband to continue their work. They cannot continue their work. They cannot continue their work. And you must fill yourself with the word of God. Every night before you sleep, every day before you sleep, the word of God that I would like you to be reading, Psalms 91 from verse 1, 
to the end. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is your refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling, for he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. To keep thee in all the ways, they shall bear thee up in the hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under your feet, because he has set his love upon you. Therefore, he will deliver you, he will set you on earth, because you have known his name. He shall, you shall call upon him, and he will answer you. He will be with you in trouble, he will deliver you, he will honor you, and with long life will he satisfy you. And I show you his salvation. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to continue to read some night what every time before you go to bed because the word of God is powerful. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is powerful. It will work for you. When you speak the word of God before you go to bed, that word will work for you. The word of God will also it, will prevail for you. In the name of Jesus, you will cry again loud and clear and you must almighty fight every way you must fight every way you must deal with spiritual man. you must deal with it don't allow them to continue to move in your life you will cry with pray in prayers you say every power of the spirit husband or the spirit wife operating in my life be paralyzed in the name of Jesus the power of the spirit husband the spirit wife operating in my life be paralyzed be paralyzed in the name of Jesus the power of the spirit husband, the spirit wife, operating in my life, be paralyzed, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, they are paralyzed. You say, spirit wife, I divorce you by fire, in the name of Jesus. Spirit wife, I divorce you now by fire. I divorce you. I divorce you in the name of Jesus. Spirit wife, spirit husband, I divorce you. I divorce you. Let me go. I divorce you. Spirit husband, spirit wife, I divorce you. I divorce you in the name of Jesus. I divorce you. I divorce you in the name of Jesus Christ. I divorce you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. You will now say this with fire. Say, spirit wife, release me by fire. In the name of Jesus, spirit wife, release me by fire. In the name of Jesus, you the spirit wife, attacking me in my dream, release me by fire. Release me by fire. Spirit wife, release me by fire. Release me by fire. Open your mouth and say it loud and clear. Spirit wife, release me by fire. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Now you will now open your mouth and say this loud and clear. Say every deposit of of the spirit wife in my body every deposit of the spirit wife in my body blood of jesus paralyze them in the name of jesus every deposit of the spirit wife in my body blood of jesus paralyze them blood of jesus paralyze them blood of jesus paralyze them the deposit of the spirit wife in my body blood of jesus paralyze them blood of jesus paralyze them blood of jesus paralyze them every deposit of the spirit wife in my body blood of jesus paralyze them paralyze them paralyze them in the name of jesus let the blood of jesus paralyze them blood of jesus paralyze them paralyze them paralyze them in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You will now say this loud and clear. Say, every power working against my marital life, 
every power working against my marital life uh, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power walking against my marital life be destroyed by fire be destroyed by fire be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus every power walking against my marital life be destroyed now by the fire of god be destroyed by fire be destroyed by fire be destroyed be destroyed by fire be destroyed by the fire of the living god be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, He that lived, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91 verse 1. You will say right now, say, beginning from today, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, beginning from today, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, beginning from today, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I abide there. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, beginning from today, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. You will say this loud and clear. Say every power calling me their husband. Every power calling me their wife. Every power calling me their husband. I am not your husband. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers that are calling me their husband. I am not your husband. Release me and die. Release me and die. Release me and die. You the powers, you the spirit, calling me your husband. I am not your husband. Release me and die. In the name of Jesus, I am not your wife. Release me and die. In the name of Jesus, powers, calling me their husband, calling me their wife. I say, I am not your husband. I am not your wife. Release me, die. Release me, die. Release me, die. In the name of Jesus, release me now by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You will say this loud and clear. See, every altar of the spirit wife, every altar of the spirit husband, erected against my life, I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Altars of the spirit wife, altars of the spirit husband, erected against my life, I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. In the name of Jesus, I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You will say this with fire in your voice. Every spirit husband, every spirit wife, troubling my marriage. Spirit wives, troubling my marriage. Your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Spirit wife, troubling my marriage. Your time is up. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, you the spirit wife that is troubling my marriage, I command you, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, die and be buried. Die by fire. Die and be buried. In the name of Jesus, you the spirit wife, you the spirit husband, troubling my marriage, I command you to die. To die. To die. To die. To die. By fire. To die. By thunder. To die. By fire. To die. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You will now cry again with fire, with thunder in your voice. You will now cry louder there. Say, every good thing in my life destroyed by the spirit wife. Every good thing in my life destroyed by the spirit wife. Be repaired in the name of Jesus. Be repaired now. Be repaired. Every good thing in my life destroyed by the spirit wife. Be repaired. Be repaired in the name of Jesus. Be repaired. Be repaired. Be repaired. Be repaired. Every good thing in my life that has been destroyed by the spirit wife. Be dis be repaired right now. Be repaired. Be repaired. Be repaired. Be repaired. Be repaired. Be repaired. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You will not cry to the Almighty God again. See, every disease planted into my body by the spirit wife. Every disease planted into my body by the spirit wife. 
every disease planted into my body by the spirit wife fire of god melt them away in the name of jesus every disease planted into my body by the spirit wife fire of god melt them away 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 in jesus mighty name we pray amen you will now say this loud and clear you spirit wife tormenting my life i bury you now in the name of Jesus, you the spirit wife tormenting my life i bury you now i bury you in the name of Jesus, you the spirit wife tormenting my life i bury you now i bury you in jesus name i bury you i bury you i bury you i bury you now i bury you now in the name of Jesus, you the spirit wife tormenting my life i bury you now i bury you now in the name of jesus i bury you 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 now in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you jesus thank you king of glory i want to pray for you now father i speak into the life of many that are listening to me wherever you are listening to me by the authority in the name of jesus everyone that has been troubled by spirit husband, by spirit wife, as men that have been troubled by the oppressions of the night, by the powers of the spirit husband, the powers of the spirit wife, I decree you are released by fire, be 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 released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released, be released now. In the name of Jesus, every crown of darkness from the spirit wife, from the spirit husband, upon your head, I command that crown to cut fire, 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 to cut fire. In the name of Jesus, let the crown of darkness upon your life begin to cut fire, cut fire. In the name of Jesus, every crown of darkness upon your head given to you by the spirit wife and the spirit husband, I command, let that crown be set ablaze, 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 be set ablaze. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power that is saying no, every power that is saying no, that you are married to them, I decree right now, I decree right now, let that marriage be terminated. Every spirit wife, spirit husband, that is saying that you are their wife, you are their husband, I command, let that marriage be terminated, be dissolved by fire, be terminated, be dissolved by fire, be terminated, be dissolved by fire, be terminated, be dissolved by fire. I say, let the marriage be dissolved, be dissolved by the fire of the living God. Be dissolved. You are married to Jesus. You are not married to any spirit. You have been. You are now born again. You are now born again. The Bible says, "All things are passed away." It says, "Behold, all things are become new." I decree and I declare that every spirit calling you their wife, every spirit calling you their husband, today let the fire of God from heaven begin to separate you. Let the fire of God scatter that marriage. Every marriage, spiritual marriage, fire of God, scatter them now. Fire of God. God, scatter the marriage let the fire of the living god scatter every marriage between you and spirit wife between you and spirit husband fire scatter fire scatter fire scatter fire scatter let the fire of god begin to scatter it in the name of jesus christ and i decree let the thunder of god begin to burn to ashes every wedding gown every wedding gown between you and any spirit husband and spirit wife, every wedding ring, let the fire and the thunder of God burn them to ashes. Every photograph, demonic photograph, any material that was used for the wedding or for the marriage in the water, the marriage in the cones, any spirit husband, spirit wife that has married to you and they are calling you their husband, calling you their wife, and they are saying they are married to you. They don't want you to get married. They don't want your marriage to succeed. I command, let that marriage be dissolved with every marriage, with the spirit husband, with the spirit wife. I dissolve it by fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I dissolve it. I dissolve that marriage by fire in the name of Jesus. As the Lord live it, 
and a spirit is living. I speak into your destiny. I speak into your life. I decree loud and clear. Let the fire of deliverance begin to separate you, begin to separate you and dissolve every demonic marriage, every satanic marriage, every marriage with spirit husband, every marriage with spirit wife, every marriage to the idol of your father's house. I say, let there be a separation. Let there be a separation. Let there be a divorce. Let there be a dissolve. A divorce, Lord. Let there be a divorce. I dissolve the marriage. I dissolve every spiritual marriage. Every power that is waging war against your destiny. Every power siphoning your virtues. Every power stealing from you. I cut them off out of your life. I terminate their plans. I terminate their assistance. I terminate their agenda over your life. In the name of of Jesus Christ we pray and I decree that the spirit husband the spirit wife that is tormenting your earthly marriage the ones that are tormenting your earthly marriage I command them to be wasted to be wasted to be wasted in the name of Jesus every spirit husband every spirit wife tormenting your earthly marriage that is not allowing you to have a good marriage not allowing you to enjoy your marriage I decree let them release you by fire, let them release you by fire, release them by fire, release them, release them in the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak right now, let the Holy Ghost begin to root out everything that has been planted by the spirit husband and the spirit wife in your life. Holy Ghost fire, root them out, or put every plantation of darkness from the spirit husband, from the spirit wife in the life of your children. Let the Holy Ghost. Up to them, Holy Ghost, up to them, Holy Ghost, up to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Father, I cover everyone that is listening to me wherever they are in the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I ask Lord Almighty that today, let the mighty power of God baptize their life, locate them, work for them. Let the prayers of today begin to work in their destiny. Begin to walk around their lives. Begin to walk for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, I thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen to me very well. For those of you that joined us in the middle, or joined us later, I've been talking about how you're going to destroy the spirit husband and spirit wife. I've not dealt with it very well. I have more to tell you. I read the Bible to us, Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. I said, And the Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make him an helpmate. And the Lord made some an helpmate for Adam. And that helpmate is Eve. If God made Eve for Adam, he knows that man needs companion. Man needs companion. And man needs companion physically, not only in the not in the spirit. So many of you that have been saying. Is right to have a spirit husband. Is it right to have a spirit wife? Although I'm not married, but I have a spirit husband and spirit wife, and you are comfortable with it. That is wrong. You can't be comfortable with that. You should be married physically. You should be married what? Physically. Physically. Not in the spirit. Marriage in the spirit is not of God. If it was of God, we will see it. There is nothing like that. Married in the spirit. You must be married physically. So when a spirit is coming to you in your dream, coming to have sexual, sexual intercourse with you in the dream, listen, you have a spirit husband, you have a spirit wife. And even if they're using your wife's face, you're using your husband's face, it means that you have a spirit husband, you have a spirit wife. And they will be attacking and troubling your marriage. They will be attacking and troubling your marriage. They will be attacking and troubling your marriage. For those of you that are not married, they may not allow you to get married easily. They may not allow you to get married easily. So therefore, beloved, we have prayers to pray. We have prayers to pray. And I know that the Lord God Almighty will touch you in Jesus' name. Now, I have put some prayers together again for this particular problem that I'm tagging, problems of spirit husband and spirit wife. I've put some prayers together. If you need those prayer points, please just connect to me on Facebook, on my page, Pastor Dr. Salako. On that page, just ask for it from that page. And I will just reply you with those prayers those prayers you need to pray them beloved what we're doing here is that as a family we want to paralyze the works of darkness in our lives we want to paralyze the works of darkness in our lives and i pray that the works of darkness will not prevail over us in jesus name thank you father lord and i pray that the lord will be with you so i'm going to send you those prayer points 
today today so just request for it on my facebook page that's the only place you can get it request for it on the facebook page and i will send those 21 prayers for you you must begin to pray them and i'm going to talk about that spiritual man spiritual life again i'm going to try to make a part so that we can have a detailed understanding they have destroyed many marriages they have destroyed many homes they have not allowed many to marry they have not allowed many to enjoy their marital life jesus christ has died for you on the cross you can't continue to complain of spiritual man spiritual life at this time you have been you are more than congruent. The Bible says you should turn upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And the Lord God Almighty said He will give you victory. You shall turn upon the serpent and the scorpion. And I pray that the power of God will touch you in Jesus' name. So you can send me a message. Send me for those of you on Periscope. Ah, those of you on Periscope, can somebody put my put my full name there, Pastor Doctor Salako? Just go to the Facebook page. And I will send Amy a message and I will return the message with the prayers for this. Very good. Let somebody just help me on Periscope and help me put the page there. And I will, I will put the name of the page there. And I will, uh, if you send me the message, I will definitely reply you. For those of you on Facebook, I wanted to go ahead and share it. For those of you on Facebook in MFMB country, those of you on my page also, go ahead. Let's share this video. Let's share this video as uh, we are now. And I pray that the Lord will touch you all in Jesus' name. For those of you on the prayer line, I pray for every one of us that the mighty hand of God will bless us all in Jesus' name. The power of God will be with you. I soak you all in the blood of Jesus. And I decree that the spirit of the spirit wife, the activities over your life is paralyzed forever. The name of Jesus will work for you. I surround your house with fire. I ask that the blood of Jesus will encamp round about you the angels of god will overshadow you and they will almighty guide and protect you from every activity of spiritual and spiritual banner i turn almighty even you yourself into fire flames of fire that the enemy cannot touch that spirit husband spiritual wife cannot come to in the name of jesus thank you father lord almighty blessed be the name of lord in jesus name oh lord we pray amen amen God bless you all. And let's go ahead and share the video for those of you that are here. And I pray that the Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Remember the prayer line every Monday and every Thursday. Every Monday, every Thursday. And on Thursday, we have two prayer lines. There's one in the morning, 11.30 UK time. And there's a general one at 11 p.m. I pray that the God whom you serve will be your guide and will protect you all in Jesus' name. So have a wonderful time and stay blessed. God bless you all. All right, for those of you on the, for those of you on the, on 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 Facebook, make sure that you are sharing the video. God bless you. Let's yes, let's go ahead and share the video for those that did not make that could not get it. Let's go ahead and share the video to them. Let's go ahead and share it. Yes, God bless you all. Those of you on Periscope, the Lord is. The Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. The hand of the Lord will be upon you. For those of you on Facebook, please go ahead and do a sharing. Those of you on Periscope, you can share the video also. Just look at the three, the three dots there. Press it and you see share this video. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. I pray that the hand of the Lord will be with you. Yes, yes, yes. I can see some of you here. Excellent. <laughs> Aminata Esba, how are you doing? Yeah, Lumisati, how are you? Good. It's nice to see you all on the prayer line. And I pray that this very year, the Lord will touch every one of us. Yes, yes. Abiodun Olufemi, how are you doing? Yes, I can see you all there. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you. So if you want those prayers, I've got those 21 prayers. Just go into it and share it. I will go into it and request for it. Go into my page. Just request for it and the Lord will be with you. Yes, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. God bless you all. God bless you. Excellent. How are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? Dio, how are you also? I want to believe that all the prayers I've given to you, you guys are praying them. There's some prayers I've given to you in the past. I hope you are praying those prayers. I want to believe that you are praying those prayers. Those prayers are meant to be prayed. God's grace, how are you, Annette? God bless you. Aminata, ah, God bless you all. 
Excellent, excellent. So just send me, send the message to me, and I will definitely. But you need send it, send it, send me a message on Facebook, please, on Facebook, so I can reply you easily. Okay, on Facebook, on Facebook, I'm seeing lots of calls coming in here. <laughs> just send me a message, and I'll reply you with the prayer point. The prayer point is what you need. Okay, the prayer point is what you need. So just send me a message on Facebook. And I'll just reply you. God bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And the Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Yeah, I've begun to get uh, quite... Yeah, I can see lots of your messages. Yeah, Florida Harrison White, how are you? Sister Ito Messi, how are you doing? God bless you all. God bless you all. Yeah, somebody has put it on, on uh, so you can go to, for those of you on Periscope, you can see the link, look at the link there. You can see the link, very good. Thank you very much for the link. Please post the link so that you can go to the link, send it to me, and I will definitely reply you. I will definitely reply you from there. Yes, I can see lots of your messages here and I'm going to reply all of you today. Just send it to me and you will get them. In a, in a couple of seconds from now, in the next 10 minutes, you should get all the prayers. God bless you all. Yes, Nathan Darren, how are you doing? Florida Harrison White, how are you? Sister Ito Mercy, God bless you all. God bless you. Yes, I pray that the Lord will be with you all in Jesus' name. So those of you on Periscope, have a lovely time and stay blessed and the Lord will be with you all. All right, see you later. <laughs> Oh my God. Rita Sunday, have a lovely time. Adeto, how are you doing? Nice to speak to see you all on the line. Fatou French, hello, how are you? And those of us on... Uh, Everything big country, yes. Bye bye to you guys.